For our economy to fully recover from the pandemic, we must finally acknowledge that workers and their families and caregiving responsibilities are real and challenging. That's why I unveiled the Building an Economy for the Families Act. What's important about it is be the, for the first time that we're authorizing paid family and medical leave. Building an economy that works for families means ensuring paid family leave so that employees can be with loved ones who are ailing, welcome a new child, or take care of themselves while sick. The effects of this pandemic have been cruelly uneven. Some families have remained unscathed. Nobody got sick. People worked online or could work remotely. People with stock portfolios that went up. Some people were fine, but other people were completely wiped out. But even before the pandemic, too many families were struggling. The impact of this investment for our children's long-term health, education, and the future of our economy is too important to miss. This bill builds on long-standing priorities that I've championed for years, including incorporating the president's call for universal paid family and medical leave and expanding access to quality childcare, both key work supports, especially for women. As a working mother, I know and understand firsthand what working mothers go through to provide for their families. When you need to spend time with a sick child or an elderly parent, or after having given birth to a child, uh, there's nothing more important than being at home with your loved one. You shouldn't be penalized for that. It's not enough to only focus on the roads that get Americans to work. We need to modernize the supports that get them through the day. The permanent child tax credit expansion is estimated to cut child poverty by more than half and will help us rebuild the middle class. I'm particularly excited about the provision to expand the earned income tax credit, also the EITC, to get more dollars into the hands of the most vulnerable in our communities. With things like child tax credits and earned income tax credits and child care for all and paid family leave, these are the things that we need to make our country more fair, more just. Having government supported childcare would have been a tremendous relief to us and would have allowed me to make decisions that I wasn't able to make, given me options that I wasn't given because we didn't have that childcare option. By guaranteeing access to childcare, we can ensure that more parents have the means to support their families and rejoin the workforce. With the passage of the Building an Economy for Families Act, we can build back better and stronger with an economy that puts working people first. The Building an Economy for Families Act is an investment in our future that we simply cannot afford to pass up. By acting on this plan, we will rebuild our society to be better and stronger than ever before. This is a time of great need. We on the Ways and Means Committee are ready to deliver.